Every single Albertan who is in the throes of, the, of addiction should have the opportunity to pursue recovery. And if we are continuing to experience the successes that we are experiencing, then individuals who are using services that you uh, alluded to at uh, Sheldon Schumer and, and other places that are similar, the pressures on those services would inherently reduce. And as that then reduces those pressures, then perhaps at some point in the future, we might be able to see a world where um, those services aren't needed to the same extent. But as of right now, uh, my purpose is uh, in directing my ministry is, is to ensure that uh, where there is need, there will be services. Thank you. At the DI, we say it takes a community to build community. And this is a great example of our community coming together to provide even more pathways out of homelessness for those that we serve. As a housing-focused emergency shelter, we're always looking for innovative ways to create pathways out of homelessness and into recovery and housing. The ability to offer detox, transition beds, and dynamic overdose response at the DI will just be one more piece in creating those pathways, especially for those experiencing mental health and addiction challenges. Uh, we know there's a lot more work to do as we continue to see that mental health and addictions create further barriers to ending a person's experience of homelessness. These programs will be an important piece in removing those barriers so more vulnerable Calgarians can move into recovery and ultimately housing. These new services announced today will allow us to offer even more support in a more focused and intentional way for those looking to start or continue their journey to recovery and housing. At the DI, we often speak about meeting people where they are at. These new programs allow us to do just that, bringing services to where the people are and working collaboratively to create pathways out of shelter and homelessness and helping people find their way home.